In this video we'll look at the applied local feature for positioning drawers and doors. We have here a built-in drawer and the overall depth of the cabinet shown in the properties menu is 500mm. I'm now going to select the drawers by clicking on them and holding the shift key down at the same time. This is a quick way to select any panel your mouse is pointing at. Now I'm going to go over to the properties menu and change the mode to applied global. So with these overlapping drawers the depth of the rest of the cabinet has in fact been reduced by the door thickness. The overall cabinet depth stays at 500mm but the other panels have been set back by the thickness of the door and that includes of course the central upright here which we're going to have a closer look at in a moment. You would normally select either built-in or applied global but we've also got an applied local option in the properties menu. Select the drawers again and select applied local. In this case only the panels adjacent to the drawers are moved back. So you can see that the central division here, which isn't adjacent, stays in the same place. So this feature allows you a quick way to recess the drawers so their facades are flush with non-adjacent panels like this, this up right here. Let's have a quick look at it in wireframe and there we can see the drawer fronts flush with that panel. If we go back into the properties menu we have an extra parameter recess in depth with this you can push the drawers in further back we've done here should you ever need to this applied local feature works with doors in exactly the same way as drawers thanks very much for watching goodbye